welcome to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to attach some of these shoulder pads to a garment. Here I've got a garment with a shoulder pad set in, that's the terminology that, that's used. And here we have the sleeve head and what a shoulder pad does, it helps to define the edge of the actual sleeve and also give shape to the shoulder. So I've got a shoulder pad here, so what's happening here is that here is the seam line for the shoulder and also the sleeve head and the shoulder pad comes out just a little bit in order to lift the sleeve and give it that beautiful shape. So that is what I'm going to show you what to do. Here we have the other side of the garment without the shoulder pad. Here is the shoulder seam and this is a seam allowance for the sleeve head. Now what you need to do is supposed to get your shoulder pad fold it in half so you have a centre line, place some pins or whatever method of marking you prefer to do, like so, and that will allow you to line up your seam with the line that you have on your shoulder pad. So I'm getting the shoulder seam, placing it in position like so, and we're going to make sure that the end of the shoulder pad comes into the seam allowance which will vary from about one centimetre, 1.5 centimetres, five eighths of an inch to half an inch depending on your sewing project. Once I've done that I'm then going to open up my shoulder pad, place two more pins in to hold it in place and remove these pins. and then put a couple of pins at each end of the shoulder pad in the seam allowance of the sleeve. Once, you're, once you have pinned your shoulder pad into position, the next thing to do is use a basting stitch. Now this basting stitch is gonna be a permanent stitch. This will enable the shoulder pad to stay in place and they're going to be small, small basting stitches. And you're just going as close as you can to the seam line of the shoulder. Oops, caught it there. And pull it through. So it's just a normal basting stitch. And what you're doing is getting as close to the seam line as you can to make sure that it stays in place. And now we have the shoulder pad attached. What I've done here is at the shoulder, I've done a little cross stitch and you can also do one at each end of the shoulder pad. Now, as I've said, this is a temporary basting stitch so that you're able to remove the shoulder pad in order to um, wash your garment. And it all depends on the kind of fabric that you're using for your garment also. Now, if I just turn it to the right side, you now should see a beautifully shaped shoulder and also sleeve head. Do remember that when you are putting shoulder pads into your garment, do consider how you are going to wash that garment, if it's going to be dry cleaned or if it's going to be put into a washing machine. That will then decide, make you decide whether or not you're going to be using much more smaller basting stitch so they are permanent. So if you're going to put them into a washing machine, it works. If not, and it is a garment that's going to have the shoulder pad removed, quite frequently then do make sure that you use a bigger type of um, basing stitch. Now don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.